Uh, well, this is a slightly more complex example, but um, it is straightforward if you just keep uh, in mind the general rules for this sort of thing. And uh, what we've got here is uh, my type of uh, something which is super, my type of something which extends out. And uh, this is the uh, general layout of types that I'm considering. And uh, I've not put my type or super type on this tree because uh, it will just uh, I'll complicate the issue a bit. Um, so that's what uh, we're looking at. So um, the first thing to ask is uh, what about the subtype of this? Well, obviously you can go uh, from my type to uh, subtype because I'm assuming that subtype is a subtype of my type. So you've got uh, subtype of the same thing and that is going to be a subtype of my type of that and so therefore because we've got super instead of being a result of this thing being a subtype it is a super type that's why that's a super type because it's a contravariant arrangement and of course we can then subtract an individual item out from there because we've got subtype of something which extends out so it's um, something which extends out would be uh, one of those and so we could choose out an hour and that would be a subtype of a uh, thing which extends out and therefore because we've got super in front of it it's going to be a super type instead right now we've got uh, something like my type of something which is um, a super type of subtype of something which extends out and uh, we can ask well what about N. N is another example of something that you could pull out from here. We've got a subtype of something that extends out, so it would be that. That would be the applicable set, and N is in that set, so it, would, it is a subtype of it, and therefore because we've got super in front, it becomes a super type instead. So it's fairly straightforward. So you just have to apply the rules sort of mechanically, and you get everywhere. Uh, my type of something which is a subtype of something my type sorry my type of of uh, subtype of something that is um, obviously we can take an individual item out from there from here basically um, and it's going to be a subtype now because we're operating on uh, my type of something which is super subtype of something if you see what I mean. So all we've done is we've um, taken out that individual um, uh, that individual type there, subtype of something and then D that is going to be a so my type of that is going to be a subtype of that. I hope that's clear. Um, so what about uh, that's a subtype of something so we could regard it as uh, like a subtype of something that extends object in which case we could look at a smaller set which is subtype of something that extends A and of course that's going to be a super type because we've got a super in front there and uh, of course we could go down a bit further in the tree and look at our and again that's going to be a super type of what went before and uh, go down even further to select an individual item like P and then that's going to be a super type again and uh, um, finally the ultimate super type of course is, is the whole lot M of anything it's going to be a super type of anything so that's always going to appear basically at the very top of the tree well at least if it includes my type Uh, a couple of points to note. Um, we got here my type of um, my type of something is going to be a subtype of my type of something, which is super subtype of something. Uh, why is that? Let me think. Um, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got um, a subtype here. So. Um, uh, that's subtype of something. So 
uh, my type of it is going to be a super type of subtype of something. Therefore, because it's a super type, and we've got super in front, it's going to be a subtype if we include that bit. So, uh, my type of something which is uh, super my type of something is a subtype of my type of something which is super subtype of something. So, in between here, could put that and what we've done is select the individual item out of there which is my type of something. Also my type of uh, subtype of something is obviously going to be a subtype of my type of super uh, subtype of something because you've taken that particular type out. Uh, but of course uh, Never let yourself be confused. My type of uh, my type of my type of something and my type of subtype of something are never ever going to be related any more than my type A and my type K are related. You see, you might think they were related because they're because K is a subtype of A, but it's not because um, the normal rules for generics mean that they're never going to be related. Right, so it's all a matter of just applying the rules um, for subtyping. Just remember, <coughs> if you've got uh, something which is super, some particular type, um, just remember the contravariant rules apply for that. If it was extend here, the, the covariant rules would apply.